Okay, we're drafting. We're drafting. Brought Which is brought to you by DraftKings. Draft it's time to step up to the play with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the Major League Baseball. New customers can bet just $5 on any team to win $200 in free bets if they do. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOHNBOY. Bet just $5 and win $200 in free bets if your team wins their game. That's promo code JOHNBOY to DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. You must be 21 plus. Restrictions apply. MLB trademarks used with permission. See show notes for details. Mm. All right, we're drafting G things. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. So, hiding the chat, hiding the chat. Goodbye, the chat. And I'll get a pen out. We'll write down a letter. And, um, shit, I was going to say something else. Oh, I wanted to check in on the bet I made yesterday because I completely forget what I did. And right. the Yankees had a weird game. Oh, I was pretty, uh, I was pretty bummed out. Um, Didn't you have Yankees to win? I had Yankees to win by one and a half. And, and judge to get a and hit? And judge to get a hit. Bet never went through because it was rechecking the location. Oh, uh, I wonder if mine did the same. So I gave a pretty good fist pump after the judge got his hit. And then I went and looked and I had not placed a bet. Oh, look, mine didn't place either. So that's uh, that's on us. What was yesterday's? What's the question? What, what was, was yesterday's, yesterday's date? Uh, the uh, 26th. April 26th. My brother's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. So in, I don't remember placing this, but Yankees to score in the first inning. I lost that. I don't remember placing that. That's tough. I did a parlay. Really? Yeah, I did. I did um, like two, like two Yankees to get a hit, Yankees to win. And then it was Yankee to get a hit and Yankee to get an RBI. I forget what it was. DVD, do you have a number? I have a number. I don't it. think I've ever, what'd you get? It's 77. <sighs> 21. 70. I don't think I've ever written 70 before. I think, people, I think we're all, we've all been avoiding the zeros for the most part. Wow. I certainly. No am. random name generator. Huh? <laughs> Alfonso Glover. And the winner is Belinda Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> is that a name on there? Yeah. It's a good name. Come on. Uh-huh. Come, Come on, Eileen. Eileen you're dude. 48. Rizzo. We're so stupid. Yep, yep. Fanabla. Uh, I was 27 away. Yep. How far away were you guys? 70. 22. I think you 48. won. 22. Wow, and you come in second, maybe. Yeah. That's the first time we've had, wow. like. How far are you from it? 26. 27. I had 77. Yeah, I think I would guess you're... You're 29. Yeah. <laughs> G things. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had a really busy morning. Yeah. Um, Would you just pull out of your pocket? So, I do have a board. Would you just pull out of your pocket? I had a board uh, made by proxy. Yeah. Excuse me. I delegated my board. Really? Yeah, it's first time ever in the history of the drafts. That's good. But I had a very busy morning, and I didn't want to embarrass myself in the G draft. That's good. So I have probably a deeper board than I've ever had ever. Wow. Because my delegee. As far as just length length of list? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You get to choose what pick you get. That's kind of where we're at. Mm-hmm. For sure. I'll take the first pick. Really? I will, Yeah. Because there's one thing on here that I want deeply, and if I don't get, it'll pain me a little bit, and, okay. and I need it. So I'm gonna. That's say, really good reasoning to get that pick. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Um, so I have to decide between the second or the wrap around. The wrap around. Um. I'll take the wraparound. And BBD? Uh, in that case, if you've taken the first and Jimmy's taking the 3-4, uh, I'll take the middle pick. Nice. That's good. Okay, five minutes on the clock, and I'm on the board. Yeah. I might I might use up the clock here Okay. to give you guys more time to think about pick, your pick, picks. Pick, 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 pick. Taking games. Mm. Games. That's, That's my one one. Yeah. That was my. Oh, it was your one one. Yeah. I'm glad I one. took the first pick. I'm justified in my actions immediately. When you when you said you had a pick in mm. mind, you I knew. Like, I was like, oh, so no shot. I love games. 
I don't like activities. Has to be a game. Even if we're just having a catch, playing catch with my dad, it's how many can we do in a row? Sure. Or like, okay, throw, you know, there's got to be a game going on. That's how I was raised. And that's how my brain works. And I'm a game of games. Games used to call me Jimmy the Game Game Guy. Everything's a game. Who used to call you that? That was a different life. Who used to call you that in the different life? Peter. Hmm. Hmm. I like games. Okay, great. I play games. Yeah. Oh, I love playing games. Some people don't like playing games. No. There's times when I don't want to play games. My mom doesn't like playing games. She doesn't play games. That's what she says. Most of the time I like to play games. You want, you want to play a game, mom? No, I don't play games. She don't play games. Yeah. You know, like you don't like to be forced into a game atmosphere that you didn't sign up for. But like atmosphere is important with games. Yeah. Some people like the that, atmosphere though. has to be right. I kind of like that. Like if we were to walk out into the office at any point and two of the people out there were like, hey, we just made up a game. You guys see it? I'd be over there and I'd say, let me try. Or you shoot it down instantly. I don't think so. Because, you no, know, you're an appreciator of games. So if the game was a miss, you'd say, whoa. We can't you're do You're at least that. checking out what the game is. I'm checking is. out what it is. You're checking out the game. And then if I think there's heavy corrections needed, I might right. offer those. Yeah, you're going to. Yeah. That's fine. Games, my 1-1. One, one. Games. Got it. G-A-M-E-S. That's how I spelled it, but I can be convinced of anything. Okay. Next on the clock it is. is the butt, butt. Dong. I was going to say dingler, but that seems inappropriate. A little bit. Bug bug dude. Mm, we're in an interesting place. I have picks lined up that can't be a first round pick that I am excited for mm. when we get to that third round. Tough, yeah, because we are only doing three rounds. Um, so I think, but no, I identified this one as one I want. I have as a... And this four is the first round, round talent. Four round draft is what I've penciled in my Yeah, well. I don't know where this three round... I'm taking green. Interesting. The, the color, color? Largely synonymous with good things. We, You know, Seat Geek. Green means good on mm. that app. Green means go. In the, in the stoplight situation. The green, the green in nature. Green space. Green was around my board. Your it's favorite, my, it's for, my favorite color. Shake's yeah. favorite color. Plus, yeah. uh, I, fig- I know it's your favorite color, yeah. and I knew there's a good chance it wasn't going to survive two picks for you yes. to get back to me. I, uh, I'm happy for you. To, if, I, if it was the B draft and I drafted blue, I'd be very happy for myself, so I'm happy for you that you got green. But as a blue fan, mm. green's kind of seen as it's kind of Yankees-Mets vibe with blue and green. No, the blues want to make it Yankee-Mets. Uh, green is so dismissive of that that it's not Mets. Like oh. Mets, Mets would come to the table green and is desperate. say, green "No, is a desperate color. Green doesn't give a shit. Green is frocks. We're checking out each other's winkies." Okay, one of those doesn't have one. Green doesn't care about blue. Blue wants green to care about them. No. Yeah. Blue is a fan of green. Yeah. And green's desperate for them to be. No. Yeah. No. Green, uh, money, but that's a double-sided argument. More money, more problems. Yeah. BBD. Yeah. It's tough. Basically choosing problems right now. Um, it's a great color. It's a great color. Blue. Um, it's a good pick. Fields are, a lot of fields are green. Yeah. The so nature. Nice. Broccoli. Good pick, BBD. Nope. Um, I will start... With giggling. Oh. Um, BBD, I mean, kind of an eye for an eye. The whole world is blind here. If you go green, I go giggling. Um, there's kind of nothing there's better there. than giggling. I mean, it, it's above laughter. I mean, if you're just giggling and you can't stop it. That's like a, it's a different kind of mood. That's like, that's like a whole body feeling. Giggling is better than laughing. I agree. I mean, giggling is the highest form of laughter and laughter is the highest form of medicine. I think some people would have cackling as the highest form of laughter, which is fun, or like that out of it's breath. Fun. But nothing like as giggling. Sometimes, rarely. One why? Because you usually giggle when you can't laugh. Sometimes, like you're like right. in a public place or you're laying in bed, 
high as shit looking at your phone and your wife sleeping next to you, so you, you just can't stop looking at Wallace Shawn gifts and you right. gotta get, keep those giggles quiet. Which happens to all of us. And then you're like, what are you laughing at? I'm sleeping. And you're like, oh, just look at this Wallace Shawn. Picture. I mean, it's also like the stupidest stuff and it's, it's, yeah, the it's stuff just that the makes best. You- and there's a rare, you talked about Venn diagrams before for a while. No, yeah, but then I changed it to And a there is an there. area where giggling and cackling kind of overlap. It's a very rare spot where you're giggling and you're yeah. giggling so much that a cackle comes out. Um, and giggles can sneak up on you. Oh, they sure can. Sometimes you can't stop. When you've got someone in the giggle chamber mm-hmm. and you can just keep keep spinning them around, it's a beautiful thing. So pretty happy I got giggles. Giggling. Babies giggle. You have a baby that giggles, blowing yes. his neck. Yeah. Seen it. Yep, he's cute. I haven't um, seen him in a while. Giggling. And then, um, I think this might surprise you guys. Um, I'm going with glass. Oh, yeah. Um, if there was no glass, like imagine if our building had no glass and we like couldn't look outside. Yeah, plexiglass? Does that count as glass? Glass. Glass is in there, yeah. I mean, it's glass. It's I mean, glass. there's windows. cups. So kind of like, because window, like, but windows is your main winning point of glass? Because that's a good, it's a really good one. Yes, if windows pretty didn't, much. If windows didn't exist. Pretty much. Um, I mean, uh, you look at a whole glass building, that's something. But yeah, I mean, glass windows and looking outside and stuff, that's hugely important. Because yeah, I know glass cups isn't a big sell for you. There are people that like glass cups. Um, yeah, I'm in the minority there. Yeah, but um, part of it. glass is just kind of impressive. It's like it's a when, see-through wall. It's when lightning hits sand. BBD, I think you're up. I think I'm up with my second round pick, and it's I'm very happy this uh, this has survived to the second round. Very first thing I wrote down for the G draft board. Yeah, uh, greatness. Wow! Wow! Great pick. Wow! Like gratefulness. Being grateful. Being grateful. No. I hate gratitude. Oh, okay. No, gratitude is nice. Not what I drafted, So your pick is you hate gratitude. Brewstar Gratterall. Nice guy. Trader Joe's. Yeah. Um, Greatness. Okay. That's great. Ain't Ain't it great to be great? I consider taking good. Which well, people don't understand good. that good and great are enemies. Yeah, well, yeah. I, my, I always say, don't let great be the enemy of good. But they are. They're yeah, they're not friends. Great, let great's them like the one great's like the stern dad. Mm. Whips his kid. Oh mm. no, yeah, bad guy, great. Greg. Greg the great. I'm gonna make my pick. Is BBD's pick over? It's over. Okay. I'm going to make my pick, and I am going to take gossip. Interesting. The scuttlebutt. Mm. What's going on? Y'all act like you you don't want to be part of it, but someone says, I, you want to hear some? want to hear something I can't share? Got some juicy Absolutely. goss. Absolutely. I promise I won't tell anyone. Absolutely. Right. I want to be on the inside of some gossip. Mm. Can't believe I didn't think of that. Or like, I mean, even like some like I've like deep dove into some stupid TikTok gossip like debates, mm. and I don't even know who the people are. I'm just like, you got you got drama for me. If it's real, I don't like fake gossip. Right. So, um, yeah, like I go out there and Sam pulls me aside. She's like, I gotta tell you something. Right. Oh man, you're not gonna believe this one. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Or like. You know, you have your family dinner for Christmas and Thanksgiving or whatever, and then everybody leaves, and then it's like, okay, let's sit around the table and talk about, like, what did what did you guys let's say? Let's gossip. And then bit. how about her boyfriend? Hey, I can't believe it. Mm, like, what'd you think of the new people? You know, and like, you know, yeah. You talk to that guy? What would you Yeah, think? yeah. Why do you wear that vest? He was a little weird. Yeah. So, uh, Goss. Gossip. What's the goss? Okay. I get it. I'm hip. I don't know if I love the word gossip. That's kind of the only thing holding me back. It's a good word. It's because it fa- sounds uh, German. And Switz mixed. Gossip. 
I got another pick here, and I got a lot of things I like. It start. I think it's time to start picking for me, and not, and not you know protecting the board. You know. Sure. I got a. I got a fucking great dude. I got a, a good board for you, Jake. Okay. Like I've read like four, and I'm like, Jake should take that for himself. You don't have to. Take you only get four. Over. Um, and I think this is a pick that you're not gonna want. Okay. I am not competing with you for this pick. Awesome. Gum. Yeah, on my board. I am a gum enthusiast. I come from a family of bad breath in the morning havers. Uh, you know, I had a meeting this morning. I was like, fuck. I, I stopped and I bought gum. What's the term? You guys all have halitosis. Pendic- pendic- halitosis. I don't think we actually have halitosis. I think we just have bad breath in the morning mm-hmm. and you got to get on top of it. Like my dad was like a mince in his pocket his whole sure. life and I'm a gum in my pocket a lot of times. Fresh piece of gum, juiciness in your mouth. Big fan of gum. Can I say something? Yeah. I like to pick for you. Yeah. I know that you're not a gum guy and some people aren't. But I, I, I don't, love gum. I don't hate gum. I kind of need you to be more of a gum guy. I don't share my gum that much. That's fine. And because we talk on the mic so much now, my mom gets right. really... When we first started talking Yanks, I always had... I, yeah. like I always had gum. Yeah. Bye, Katie. Katie's leaving. Um, and when we started doing talking Yanks, my mom would get really mad. Don't record an episode with gum in your mouth. Right. Stop, stop, stop. So I've... Toned down because, like, I could kind of we could finish this, something. I could pop a piece of gum in my mouth, right? It's gonna be out in yeah, half I hour. guess that's kind of what I'm saying. I kind of want that. You gotta like, have a I lot of gum, want, dude. I kind of want the mic to turn off, and you're like, <sighs> dude, but I am a, I'm a, I'm a one piece of gum for way longer than you should be a one piece of gum guy. Really, Luke told me one time he went through like half a pack of Orbit during a school day. Mm. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was one piece, one piece. Uh, to school, to lunch, out, eat, one piece, to home. Mm. Or that's two pieces. But, you know, like, I make the gum last. I've chewed gum until it was a powder a bunch of times. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I tend to go pretty long. Definitely not not that territory. Like I've only done it, like, five times. Yeah. But it was, like, when I was in the computer lab. Maybe. Uh, no, in the computer lab, typing Depends away. Depends on the, on the gum you've got, too. Some, some last better than others. I'm an Orbit guy. Although the new strides that are the sticks, they're pretty good. Um, you offer me chiclets, I'm going to be like, nah. Mm. It's like not. What are sneaky good are those cubes. But oh. you can't fit that in your pocket because it's, yeah. it's like a it's medicine its own, bottle. It's, you gotta, it's that's BS. like a car. Yeah, car or, or at your desk. I should get a bunch of those for at yes. my desk. And here. Yes. Okay. I'll, like, I'll buy it right now. Now we're talking. Yep. Great. Yeah, I'm big big gum guy. I'm really excited about this pick. Okay. Awesome. Uh, when I... Was thinking on this last night, and and I and I came across it. I was very excited. Graphs, love a graph. Okay, like I, I'm not super keen into the actual making of the graph. Like right. for me, but like you show me a graph, like you collected the data for me. It's like you can tell me what this means. We got into it a little bit with with Justin Panic on Wake and Jake this morning. We were maybe it was before the show. We were talking about he's pretty analytically driven. Yeah, um, he's not great with the numbers himself. But, like, he loves dissecting numbers people give him and, like, taking that in. What does that mean? Now, I also love graphs. Make those numbers make sense and easy to figure out. Some graphs stink. Like, you run a high yeah. risk. It's bad. Graph. High return. No, it's it's a how good is your good in the graph. A well-made graph anyone can be into. Now, graphs and charts, basically the same thing? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Yeah. No, I think no there's, to. like... We don't need to rip those. Because I would, I, I like would have squares and I would have said situation. I like charts, but as I think about it, they're the same thing. Yeah, I think some like graphs, graphs stink, man. Charts. People give you people give you graphs that you can't understand. It's like opposite, yeah. the opposite of the task. Yeah, I like. Uh, there's like funny like Instagram accounts that are like graphs that aren't good. You know what the uh, best graphs are, are when it's like that's the joke. I like that animated graphs. Whoa. Remember that graph I made of the NL, NL wild card race last year? Yeah. Oh, oh that like yes. went like it was like a way more popular tweet than I thought it was going to be. It was a moving line graph. Yeah. Like that's awesome. They kind of, yeah. you'll see. Well, like take most, back what I said most before, home runs really since 1900. Home run by year. Yeah. Oh, there's Harmon awesome. Killebrew and there. Oh. Yeah. I take back what I said. Ooh, I really liked yeah. inputting the data for those. 
Yeah, you did help me with the others, right? Because yeah. I did the first one. I was you like, "Fuck, people one. like this," but this just took me. This just took me three hours. <laughs> it was worth it. I was um, glad. If no one retweeted yeah, it. It would have been a waste a of time. Worthwhile venture. Jake, you get two picks in a row, dog. Really? Yep. Okay. Okay. Jim, I'm going to get one which really covers both sides for me. I'm going to take gifts, um, giving or receiving. Gifts are pretty good. Um, the reward, you know, I'm, I'm a giver, you know that. Uh, the reward of giving, probably better than receiving, but I mean, either way. Uh, if you get an awesome gift or you give an awesome gift, that's, that's what it's all about, you know? Yeah, you get double both sides of it. Even in buying a gift for yourself. Sure. You can be both sides of it. Sure. And everyone knows November 18th, I'm going to go on a gift right. gift spree. So I'm excited about that. Mother's Day is coming up. You got any gift ideas? Uh, usually go some flowers and then if I can twist in something else that's relevant at the time, that's the play. But it's first mother's day. I think I gotta go big. Oh, I mean, you have a whole situation on your hand. We're not, we're talking to apples and oranges here. I was thinking about having James's body painted or something. Yes. Like the organs on the outside just to show how far he's come. Who would paint that? If you don't mind me asking. That's what I gotta go to. I gotta go body, you know. Body paint for babies. Body paint for babies. Mm-hmm. Maybe I get a tattoo of James on my face so she can see both of us at the right. same time. Maybe With put, the organs put on my the, face on his on face. The face tattoo. Yeah. I don't know. I gotta really, I gotta really think about it. Or maybe get a get like a get one of those people that work on like what someone will work like when they're older and get a picture of baby James at age like ninety five. That's so mean. <laughs> That's like too far, dude. <laughs> maybe, maybe the meanest gift you can give a new mother, and yes. that's hilarious, and yeah. should be a skit. I know you like it, so like if I put baby, I can I put baby. I know you like it, so that's kind of put where baby I James in the face app right now. Oh, no, that's because you could like give like a board, like a montage, like hey, here's oh, right. like this is the funny. This, this is a sitcom get of like yeah. a clueless uncle. This is how it would go. Sure, he would make a chart. You know how they had those charts uh, where you got the quarters with the new state quarters, yes. and you could have you you, know, you each year you, each year. Yeah, you do that, and you get like a picture frame. And you put, this is what the app says he's going to look like at each year. Yeah. And then you, you say like, so you can put what he actually looks like and compare it as it goes. Right. That'd be a funny sit. Because he just like looks awful the whole right. way. Hmm. Like hopefully, you know, I can't be 14. I mean, he's going to look better there. So You're welcome. That's so mean. Happy Mother's Day, Katie. You know, I face-tapped Courtney's kid once, my yeah. nephew. And she didn't like it. No. It is funny, though. It's messed up. I have a I have a photo of Steve on my phone. Yeah. Steve out there? Yeah. It's like a really nice photo of him smiling. And I feel like I have to wallish on that. No, you have to. That's really wild. Yeah. wild I didn't know you got in that tight. Yeah. What because happened? Joe's was asking where he sends yeah. some reports to. <laughs> so he took a picture. And I said Steve. I like Steve. And Joe's responded, Steve question mark? And then I just sent a picture of his face and Joe's goes. I know, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Steve and my friend Austin would get along well. Um, am I taking my last pick? No, no. It's a four-round draft. You're on the board, but it's not your last pick. Right? It feels like it's the fourth thing he'll It's the fourth to. round. <laughs> you do with the info I give you what and you And you have... Giggling glass and gifts. An electric draft for me. Um, and I think I'm going to fig. This could be an all-time draft for me. I'm going to wrap it up with guts. Yeah, send that to him. I don't know if I have his number. Okay, post it in the Just Slack. You can airdrop post it, it in the main Slack. Dude. General Slack. I'm um, taking guts, um, whether a gutsy performance, um, having the guts to do something, uh, whether it's sports or life, 
Love some guts. And, I mean, I also, in that, I'm getting a good gut. A good beer belly. A good... A good gut. Do you think this... I think I think that cancels out my next... One of my next picks. Um, it's kind of the whole draft. But it's not the same thing. But, well, it's, sim- but it's similar. Well, that's you know a, what I'm talking about, Beauty? Back to the draft. I think it... Am I thinking of something that starts with... The same letters you might have drafted in something. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Slack from Jimmy. Is there a slack from Jimmy? Yeah. I just slacked off 50 employees, a picture of Steve as well as Sean. Yeah. 59 employees, sorry. So we'll see how that goes over. Yeah. Do you think I just caused scuttlebutt in the office for everyone? And that's like super nice of me to do that. Like, do you think I just called gossip? I caused gossip. Like, what? What does this mean? What is this? No, I think everyone unfortunately knows what it means. Yeah. So, uh, my perfect draft is over. BBD. Love that for you, Jake. Thank you. Now I am excited for your next pick. Sure. For my final pick, uh, I'm gonna select grandparents. On my board. Mm. On my board. There's mm. no. I love my Grammy. Roommates mm. for a while there. You know, went to the game yesterday. I kind of missed my... I've been getting into a usual, like, Tuesday phone call with her. I kind of missed that yesterday, so i got to make sure I hit her on the walk home today. Um, Shout out Grammy. Yeah. My grandma was cool. I liked her. Mm. All right, good pick. Am I up? Good pick, BBD. Grandparents. I can't wait to be one. Super loving. Caring. I was going to draft grandparents at one point, and then I, I, I don't know if I would have, but I was going to say because they don't punish you usually. They're like, they take, take care of you, but they don't do the discipline. So it's kind of like, it's cool. That's at least my, my grandma was. And she would scare really easily. Sure. I got to round out my board. My last two picks. All right. Who are you going to uh, take? I'm going to take. You've taken games, gossip, and gum. You're mad that I took guts because that took gumption off your board. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where do you think you're going to go? Put Here's it. how it's going to go. Gunna. You love to say that. Gunna's not a bad pick. Grass and glow sticks to round out my draft. You're going grass. Going grass. Do you want to go glow stick? No, but okay. I do love glow sticks. Yeah, I, I just, like I like BBD cra- taking green. It's like a trump card to grass a little bit. Yeah, because I, I mean I say no. nature is part of sure green. sure. I just want grass. I don't want everything That's else fine. that comes with green. Okay, and I get weed. Sure, weed, which makes me as cool as Trev. Getting excited for grass, man. Yesterday I came to the office. I walked in and there wasn't a lot of stuff and blooming. And then I, on the way home, it was like all of a sudden the world came to life in our neighborhood because yeah. it, it rained and it grew. And fresh cut grass smell is mm. going to be like, you know, everyone in the neighborhood is going to get their lawn mowed for the first time. Right. That's a sweet day. Big allergies for me, unfortunately. Oh, horrible. Yeah. I'm allergic to everything yeah. outside, but I love the smell of fresh cut grass. And I like wor- walking barefoot in grass. Mm. Like I was never a uh, shoes and grass person. That's a great feeling. Sure. Even though the grass that my town used in California used to give me a rash, still did it. 